All right, let's take a look at uh, the RCBS lockout die, how to disassemble the die, and take a look at uh, the parts that make up the assembly. So we're going to start by removing the lock ring, and then we're going to um, pull off the, the foot that's powder activated. Okay, now we need to uh, take a, a small screwdriver or other such tool and very uh, carefully get under the the uh, circlip there and we're just going to pry that out and of course retain this so that it doesn't go flying okay so we've got the circlip off now if we just uh, tilt the assembly this carrier and the corresponding ball bearings are going to uh, come flying out okay so we've got the compression spring that's going to keep downward pressure on this uh, follower here. And uh, we can, if we want to take the die further apart, we have to uh, remove the two halves uh, that make up the actuation rod. And so this has got a little bit of friction uh, so that it will, will hold its setting. So um, those are, are the basic parts. What we'd want to do is, uh, is clean the assembly and then uh, get ready to, to put it back together. So we're going to take this uh, actuation rod back off. We're going to uh, put the actuation rod uh, back through and then prepare to insert uh, this follower once again. And what we need to do is is basically um, put the ball bearings in the side, as as follows. We're going to put the compression spring back in and shake that until it fall, falls in. And then what we want to do is is put the this follower here in sideways, so that the ball bearings are not going to fall out. And we can I can feel that that has uh, inserted properly and then we replace the sir clip it snaps into place and now we can screw the, the actuation rod uh, back together oops got it the wrong way there there we go that's how we adjust the level that uh, we're validating of the powder okay Put our lock ring back on, snap the foot on, and there we are. We're back pretty much uh, to where we started, and the die is now ready to use. We could check for burrs, um, we could check for dirt and crud. Um, might be a good idea to lube this with graphite or some other lubricant. We want to have something fairly light, nothing that's going to uh, gum up. But that's, that's the basic procedure for disassembly and assembly of the RCBS lockout die.